Welcome back to the channel, everybody. As you can probably tell, this is a little different video than normal. I am so happy to say that we have teamed up with Nitrous Outlet to put nitrous on the rat rod. I know you guys are probably thinking, Colin, you know, your rat rod has a stock engine in it, right? And I'm like, yes, I know, I know. We're probably just gonna hit it with like a little baby shot to start off with. I already have a rotating assembly on the way for this thing. The rat rod has gone from here to here really quick. I, I, I didn't think it was gonna go this fast, but with great people like Nitrous Outlet hopping on board, getting help all, all around, I the rat rod's getting pretty insane. I don't know what times I hope to run with it, but I know it's not gonna be slow. I just wanna go have fun with it. That's the biggest thing. I built it to go have fun, built it to do burnout contests. This, just because I'm building it and it'll probably just be pretty competitive drag racing, this thing is not gonna stop doing burnouts. This is gonna still be my everything toy. I don't wanna turn this thing off from doing one thing just to do the other thing. It's not gonna be a purpose-built race car. It's not gonna be a, it's a purpose-built, have fun, get in, let's go do some cool stuff. You guys know that we just put the cage in it. That's just for safety in case we start going fast. You get a fast motor, you start going fast. Let's go over some of the stuff that Nitrous Outlet hooked us up with. We have two Nitrous Outlet 10 pound bottles. These bottles are so sexy. I love these things. They have the billet nozzles on the top. These are empty right now. But uh, yeah, they have the billet nozzles on top. I mean, come on guys, look at that. Look at that, that is so sexy. I mean, how could you not want to put Nitrous on your rig if you have this? Nitrous Outlet hooked me up with a 4150 Weekend Warrior wet shot plate. I told them I got EFI fuel pressures, they said no problem, and they got me jetting for all the way from 50 horsepower all the way up to 300 horsepower. These solenoids can handle a little bit more than that, but the plate is gonna be what restricts it. We're boosting juice in here, boys. We, we don't need to be shooting 500 horsepower down the throat of this little small block. We are going to try and keep her alive, so uh, but as they say, we're boosting and juicing. She's gonna be a very, very spicy unit, I can tell you that. You can see here, we have the Nitrous Outlet Pro Mod Nitrous Solenoid. This thing is freaking huge. It's ginormous. That's what she said. <laughs> like, we're gonna flow some nitrous with that thing. A little purge solenoid right here, go psh, psh. I have a really awesome spot. Don't wanna show you guys until, uh, until I get it on there, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Fuel solenoid right here. They made this custom bracket for all these solenoids to put on the rat rod so that they're in a really nice spot, show all the, the logo and everything because you guys know that uh, the rat rod's a rat rod and uh, I probably wouldn't have done as nice of a job as they did here. Nitrous Outlet does a great job. They do any intake, no matter what intake you have, I guarantee you send it to them, they're gonna be able to plumb that baby for nitrous. They, they do an amazing job with their custom intakes. They, they do great, they do a lot of work there. Nitrous Outlet also makes their own switch panels. You're gonna to wanna to be able to arm that thing when you're driving down the road with your girlfriend and some dude pulls up in a Camaro or a Mustang they're like, yo, you wanna race? You wanna be like, no problem. Bam! Flip the switch, turn the nitrous on, now you're ready to go. That way, when you use Nitrous Outlet full throttle switch and you give her the beans, you're gonna have all the nitrous ready to go. You don't have to worry about hitting full throttle when you're just cruising around. You can turn this off, disarm it. You know, you got your little psh, psh button. That way you can uh, show everybody how rich you are with the psh, 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 psh. If you're racing and it's really cold out and you're in the final round and you need to get a little bit more bottle pressure so you can gap the fool right next to you, little button right here, bottle heater. Let's turn the bottle heater on so we get some more pressure in the bottle. Don't use a freaking, don't use a torch. Come on guys, what are you doing? And if you're really fancy, you get the opener right here. You can open up your bottle, close your bottle. That way you really don't have to reach back and tsh -tsh -tsh. Luckily, my bottle's gonna be right next to me. I'm gonna be able to crank that baby on and off whenever I want. So I'm not gonna be, uh, I'm not gonna be using the opener, but if you're gonna be using a remote bottle in the back or something, you can use this and you can use a nitrous outlet bottle opener, the electric one. Those things are fancy. They're just sick. Here's that bottle heater that I was talking about. These things are made of very good quality. Let's open it up. Oh, I ripped it. Dang it. Oh, there you go. First off, comes with the relay. More wiring. More wiring. Nitrous outlet also has all their wiring diagrams at nitrousoutlet.com. So make sure you go on there to uh, wire this correctly. Don't guess. Don't do what I do. I guess all the time. You don't want to guess. Bottle heater itself is going to come with a nice switch, toggle switch to turn it on and off. It's also going to come with an inline pressure switch 
That way if it gets to a certain pressure, it turns off. If it's below a certain pressure, it turns on. I'm not sure exactly what these pressure switches are set for. I'm sure Nitrous Outlet has them going to the perfect pressure because they know what the optimal pressure for their nitrous kits are. So I'm sure that's what they have these switches set to. Of course, all the needed hardware as far as connectors go. Here's the bottle heater in case you need to warm up. Nice thing about the Nitrous Outlet bottle heater, look at this. You plug that right into the wall. How cool is that? Sitting in the pits, you don't want to drain your battery because what's worse than draining your battery right before a run because you're, you know, a race car, no alternator. I have an alternator, doesn't matter. But uh, if you're sitting there, boom, plug this in right next to your battery charger because most likely if you don't have an alternator, you're charging your batteries round after round. Boom, plug this right in, keep your bottle warm. This tube is so that your bottle can vent outside in case it overpressurizes. Any, any bottle that's in the cab per NHRA spec uh, needs to have this so it doesn't burst inside the cab. And you know that we are completely about NHRA tech with the rat rod. We're, we're, we go by the rule book with that thing. Nitrous Outlet also, <clears throat> they also sent relays, some more wiring. That way I can wire up the solenoids on certain switches. You gotta make sure you use relays. You wanna, you wanna back feed yourself. I also have fuses that we're gonna use. We're gonna wire this right. We're not gonna wire it like baby, baby wiring. We're gonna run it through my Holly Terminator X because uh, we don't wanna hit it right now. We wanna like, we wanna ease into her, you know what I mean? We don't just wanna like, ah! Uh, we wanna be like, uh, you know? Now, if you're buying the Weekend Warrior kit, you're gonna get this nice stainless steel bracket mount and uh, it, works, it works pretty decent. It's a, it's a nice, nice bracket. Also, again, it comes with more relays, more wiring. Um, it comes with your main feed line, which I'm gonna be running. That's a 6 a.m feed line I believe yes 6 a.m. feed line comes with instructions in here also everything that you're gonna need is at nitrogenoutlet.com everything's digital why would why do you guys need paper nobody uses paper save the environment you're gonna get a full throttle switch mine's gonna go through the holly so we're not gonna need to use that but full throttle switch that's cool when I talked to the guys at nitrous outlet they said they're gonna send the stainless bracket as well but they said they're gonna send this one and this bottle bracket is called their nitrous outlet race light single 10 pound bottle bracket this thing is all laser etched um i don't know how they do it honestly but it's a nice anodized bottle bracket it has really nice rubber feeling in here if you guys don't understand what i'm saying that way the uh the bottle doesn't get scratched i imagine with that one it's possible to get scratched this one doesn't look like it would get scratched at all comes with a lot of billet parts too billets cool i also got a bunch of these gauges so we're gonna have a gauge in each bottle. That way the bottles are knowing what we're doing. And then we're also gonna put one of these gauges somewhere that I can see it. That way, uh, I don't know, that way I can see it. It also came with a purge line so you can put your purge in the atmosphere wherever you wanna go. So that way when you're using your nice outlet purge panel, you can go I know that sounded like a really big ad, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't really meant to be geared that way. I've known Dave over at Nitrous Outlet for quite a few years now, and uh, he said that he wanted to set the rat rod up for nitrous, and we're gonna get it ready for nitrous. It's gonna be really awesome. We're just gonna kinda go slow at the first part, but then we're gonna really ease into it and uh, really show you guys that you can put nitrous with turbos, and it's, a lot of people are scared of nitrous, and you just have to get a good tuner. I hope that I don't ever reference back to this with a melted piston. All you gotta do is know how to tune nitrous. You just gotta be safe with it. You gotta be smart with it. You gotta know how to use it. Do I know how to use it? We're gonna find out, guarantee you that. I appreciate you guys watching. Next video, we're gonna start installing this nitrous outlet system. We'll see where that goes. I'm excited to go to the track and kind of see what the rat rod does before or after the, uh, the nitrous kit. But we also need to go ahead and we're gonna change around the nitrous, we're going to change around the turbo kit on the rat rod because we're having issues after the burnout contest. We were blowing past the uh, manifold flange and it was shooting fire straight up into the valve covers, catching stuff on fire. It's done that twice now and I don't like catching on fire if I don't need to. We're going to change those around. My buddy got us some thick flanges. We're going to go ahead and start fabbing that up. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Go check out Nitrous Outlet. They have really good deals. This Weekend Warrior kit is uh, a pretty good kit in case you want to go and um, just put a little plate on your 
daily or I mean why not why not put it on your daily put it on your weekend warrior race car I mean whatever you want to do nitrous outlets very reasonable they have really good kits to uh, get get you horsepower as cheap and fast and budget as possible I mean nitrous in general is a really good good way to make your car a lot faster and it's it's one of the cheapest ways to get horsepower so in case you guys needed anything go to nitrousoutlet.com we'll hook you up tell them Colin sent you You can also wrap this around your girlfriend's thighs if she gets cold at night. <laughs>